beginning. By then, maybe we, all the beautiful things that we need to hear will have been said. So I would like to call up to up to the floor now, uh, Mr. Olise. So come and then uh, give us. Uh, no, if you are still doing tete a tete, I can slow down. I'm a candidate, so. <laughs> so I want us to call Mr. Olise to come up and um, and give us uh, a presentation about microfinance, how we can make money. Please put your hands together for Mr. Olise. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, Charlie Mom, you made a mistake. Mr. DJ, it's not what you want to do. I want to go back. Sorry, ladies and gentlemen. He said I was here to tell you how to make money. I want to believe some of you are making money. But you're not investing your money. Am I right? Yeah, we're making money, we're never investing, right? You're making money, you're not investing money. Okay. And some of you are spending money lavish. I know I'm right. You might not. So, it's an interactive session. I'm not here to... I want us to reason together. Yeah. I want us to look at this issue together. I'm only here to look at your questions and see how I can add value because you don't have more than that. The only collateral you have got So like I said, it's an interactive session. How do you think I can help you? I have the money. Tell me how convince me. You guys don't have a savings for you musician, most of you don't have a service for Why don't you start for a service for How do you think that can help you save a hint future money to buy equipment. Musicians need money to finance their recordings. If they have a record in the market, they get a better price for concerts. If they have instruments, they don't need to pay an instrument higher, 70-80% of the income for those instruments which are not even good. Hello. So if a bank or a microfinance organization can help a musician with money to purchase the necessarily equipment or if a feasibility study or a business plan is put forward to the bank saying I need 500,000 Naira on to finish up my CD I have a deal that they will print 50,000 copies I can pay back that half a million in this time period that's the way I, I believe the musicians can be helped But I must be frank with you. Most of these musicians don't have a savings culture. And uh, at this junction, if 
if I have to borrow a Charlie more, 500,000, to buy an instrument. To so record a master CD. To record a master CD. How am I sure the CD will go back up? to answer such a question like this. When, as you earlier said, when you lend him such money, and you know where that trust in, in him to do such thing or a business, that is counting in a business. First thing, you can go back or go together to the very place and purchase the very thing you want to see with your eyes. Then you form a written agreement in paper. So what I can do and I believe it's perfect for enough to do it. Thank you. Yes. Actually, my suggestion would be that the bank does not lend the money to the musician, but as an example to the club, the music club. The music club will take the money and then say to the musician, play me your demo. If two, three experts listen to the demo and say, yes, this is marketable, this is good, the music club will then lend the money. And the music club will supervise the income. So it gets back from the music club to the bank. You, the bank, does not have time to go around and search all this. But the music club can hire two, three musicians to work with them together to supervise the quality of the recording, not overstepping the budget, and the same with instruments. The music club should have a warehouse where those instruments they purchase are in the warehouse. So those musicians who borrow the money for the equipment will go to the warehouse, sign for the equipment, take for a gift, bring it back and pay a part of their income to the music club who pays back the bank. It's easier to control that way. Actually, that should have been the, the work of PMAN to do, but since PMAN is non existing at the moment, the music club would handle that on behalf of those musicians who are members of the music club and interested to take their loan. Yeah, uh, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Sit down. My name is Dr. Tellingdorf. Hello? Hello, hello? Yeah, my name is Dr. Tellingdorf. I think I would like to share some one or two experiences with you based on what we just said. We talked about we not having collateral. Okay, Uncle Mike, I've just said about some, and, and I'll just bring it up, this whole demonstration work. That's a sample of what is to become a master team. Then two or three, or a panelist sitting down to analyze and uh, recommend the work for production, right? What I want to say is that, can't our work be our collateral if it is a certain that, yes, it will be good for commercial purposes? One. And secondly, Uncle Mike has just raised the issue of you not dealing with the artist on one on one. That is to deal with a body that is the Nigerian Music Club now. Are you with me? And uh, talking about uh, the production, I just want to complete what Mike has more or less said what I want to say. I'm just trying to complement what he has said. That is to say, if, if this money is being given out on behalf of the artist to the club, um, don't forget, at the end of the day, there will be a marketer that's going to market this work, that's going to distribute, that's going to promote. So, quarterly, the artist is supposed to be making what is called returns, royalties, from that work. I think from, from there, you can, that debt can be serviced within a period of three months, six months, at most a year. A music that is a hit, under a month, you can make your money back. I don't know why the banks are not really, because in uh, business, they say it's a risk, right? Why don't you guys, uh, if you guys can come in at this MIC, I think uh, you can rest assured you are, you'll be breaking new grounds and you'll be, you'll be the first among the financial institutions to come into the entertainment industry as far as the general market is concerned. I don't know any of any other bank that has decided to make any move. For me, for me making a move at all, I think it's very encouraging and we are ready, ready to support you, to encourage you, to guide you, to give you some advice on how to go about Make your return because I know as a bank, as a banker, your interest is how do you make your returns? That can be guaranteed once the work is asserted and there is a body to market the work. Thank you very much. Sorry, sir. Shama, just listen up. You see, if if you came back later, we are employed. Because you know how to sell. 
<laughs> you were talking because I want to give you money. <laughs> How do you handle piracy? Is piracy not a problem? Feel <laughs> free. Uh, I think, uh, luckily, I happen to be an advocate of anti piracy. I think they are stupid. That's because you are a musician. Yeah, I have to protect my industry because that's all I got. I think, to start with, I've just done a walk. Sorry, I've just done a track on anti piracy. This is not the two track recorded. Well, one is on the resource control and true federalism, the other one is on anti piracy. What I'm trying to say is that I think we really need to go back to the basics. Hello? We really need to go back to the basics because, personally, I now begin to realize that the industry as it is, fortunately or unfortunately, it, it, you know, it is a career or a profession that doesn't require degrees or certificates. Because it's a, it's a noble profession, noble in the sense that it is only God that gives talent. So I'm beginning to, I mean, this crisis we have in this, you know, you know, in Pima now, I'm beginning to look at this thing from another perspective. That is to say, when you say show business, we've been doing the shows over the years, we've not been doing the business. Why? Because there is, that's why the fact that not, uh, this uh, industry does not require the growth of the At the same time, it requires a lot of academic and intellectual input. So I'm beginning to look at other, uh, uh, our uh, 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 entertainment journalists who are our partners in progress, that they should come up to begin to know the code and conduct that governs in this industry. I'm trying to answer your question about piracy. Because if you go through, this mic is fucking up. I think my voice is loud enough. If you go through the Nigerian Copyright Act, uh -huh. eh, and the, sorry, I really prepared to come for this seminar. If you go through the, the code of conduct that governs our industry, that is the Copyright Act and Prima Constitution. Hello. Like I was saying, if you go through uh, copyright, uh, the Nigerian Copyright Act and the Prima Constitution, there are the ways and means to fight piracy. Everything is taken there. There why why is this not being done? And now I'm beginning to look at it from this angle. That is, the entertainment journalists should come up by helping us to digest these books, so they can help us make sure that these structures are put in places to checkmate the piracy, you know, infringement of our rights and copyrights. That's all. Thank you very much. I ask you one very simple question, and it has to do with collateral, because you said your what is in contract? When did this CD, when was it launched? When did it come out? It just got ready yesterday. Yes. It's set to be replaced. I think the first person who started this work. Okay. <laughs> so I can take it. <laughs> we'll talk about that later. Are you guaranteeing me that uh, this CD would outfit the bunch? Are you telling me that this CD would outsell the bunch? You see, what you should know about music, eh? Even you, the artist, the owner of the work, you can't say how far the music will go until, until you test the water. Even music that has been hit, what over, that has been condemned, has come out to, turn, to, to become hit. Let me give you an example of my mentor, of my Jackson down the rail. It was condemned some, sometime, somewhere, somehow. But along the line, it came out. Until, until you come out, it, because it takes the fans, the buyers, to determine how far the music goes. You can't even say. Let me let come out. No, so that's where the risk comes in. May I, may I add something here to the risk factor, please? <laughs> uh, no, it's okay. Banks are in the business to make money. Of course, there are risk factors. There are situations where a bank has to write off a bad debt. But the risk can be spread out. As an example, I was preparing an act for the house called the Endowment in the Arts Bill. But when I had my problem with Timon last year, I put it a little bit on the ice. Now in that bill, corporations were entitled